Today's video will be around the Flipper Zero. We'll be looking at the bad USB application and using rubber ducky scripting. We'll be extracting network credentials from a computer by USB. This will be a physical type of attack. All right, let's get into it. So first we're going to open up QFlipper. Make sure your flipper device is connected to uh, your computer by USB. Let's go to the file directory, SD card, bad USB. All right, so this is where all your payloads slash script live. Uh, once again, this is rubber ducky scripting. All right, so now we're going to go to my GitHub repository. So if you type in github.com and slash QVista, you'll come to this page, click on Flipper Zero, bad USB, and it'll be this script right here. So let's click the, on this script and let's download that file. We saved it on the desktop. Now all we have to do is just drag this over here. All right, to execute this particular payload, we're going to have to get out of QFlipper. So I'm gonna walk you through this with the flipper. Ensure it's still connected to the computer and you'll be ready to go. All right, so let's go to, let's go down to bad USB and look for that exfiltrate network credentials let's go ahead and click on it you'll click run then we'll start executing all right powershell came up now wait for an error and you're going to click back button as many times as you can to get out of it and that's all you have to do so now let's go back to q flipper and let's see if those Wi-Fi credentials are saved. We put it in the apps data. Let's scroll down. There it is. All right, so let's go ahead and download that file so we can read it. You'll open it in Notepad. And there it is. That's my Wi-Fi credentials. Okay, so with the bad USB functionality of Flipper, you can do several uh, different things with it. So just some things to that you can do with it. So you can inject any kind of keystrokes. You can perform key logging. You can obtain documents of any sorts. Uh, you can obtain saved passwords that are within browsers. You can send data to another client on the internet, server, what have you. You'll have to perform that scripting with using rubber ducky syntax. And to sort of help you with um, developing this, these kind of items, there's some um, additional resources I've provided here. So the first one is the Hack5 repository. It is um, pretty good, pretty thorough. Uh, as you can see, there's all different kinds of payloads that you can, or scripts that you can add to the bad USB. Uh, also, to get uh, familiar with the rubber ducky scripting language, um, you can go to the Hack5 uh, quick reference. This provides all those keywords that are used with their language what they do, etc. So with that, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching.